So we all know that the our favorite sanding robot in the world, Cosmo here, um, pops up to this position, as you can see in, in the cell, when the sandpaper needs to be changed. So you tell it when you want to change the sandpaper, and then as soon as that time expires, Cosmo pops up right in your face and says, hey, please my, change my sandpaper. But we had to make one more improvement to that. Let me show you. So we're changing the sandpaper right here, and one of our philosophies is the answer is always where the question is. So we change the sandpaper here. So the question is, where's my sandpaper? And now the answer is, it's right there. So it's totally within reach to store all of your sandpaper and your foam pads right where you're changing the sandpaper. Now we're totally crazy about lean, so that principle is kind of everywhere on the machine. Let me just show you another couple quick examples. One, the vacuum switch is right here. How do I operate the vacuum switch? Instruction right there. Once I activate the vacuum switch, is the door, does it have enough vacuum? The gauge is right there. That light turns green right here where you can see it. Instructions for how to operate the machine right in front of the HMI and same thing over here, your startup procedure right in front of your face so you can never get it wrong. Also, if you have to send the machine home, like I will have to do in a second, how do I send the machine home? We put a decal right there to remind the operators exactly the procedure for sending it home. In some cases, in this case, we have the interface pad on the machine. In some cases, we want to sand without that on the machine. And then the question is, where's my interface pad? The answer is right there. You put a Velcro strip right there. Now, in a case where you have to move the robot manually, you have to know your X and Y coordinates. Well, that's not easy to remember. So those are right there, X, Y, Z. Easy reference for the operator. When you have the teach pennant in your hand, if you have to move the robot, you have to have this key in manual or teach mode in order to take over manually. And sometimes that's not easy to remember. So you're standing here, what answers here. Question we get all the time. What size can the machine sand? 26 by 48. We come around here to the uh, pneumatic controls. And what's this gauge supposed to be at? Right there. What's this gauge supposed to be at? Right there. Is the switch on or off? That switch on or off? Right there. I think this video could go on forever, but you get the idea. We're crazy about making it easy for the operator.